Uh, he automatically started yelling, um, started saying, oh, you're always in my business, you know. That's the sort of things that Jamel says to me when I ask about certain girls that I feel like are overstepping their boundaries. If it was a business, if you guys are talking business, for me, it's 9 p.m. It's not, that's the last time any contact. You can make money 24 hours a day. What's your business? Regardless of the fact. I don't like the fact that she's messaging you at 1 a.m. in the morning. It's too comfortable. So I'm going to ask you again, who is Christina? I've just told you, Christina is just a friend. She's even a workmate, even if you want to call it that. Honestly, like, just look over that situation. Like, Christina... Have actually... you met Christina? No, I've not met Christina. So, so why is she so comfortable to message you and call your phone? It's clubhouse. And then why are you not comfortable to answer the phone calls in front of me? That's not a problem. That's I don't actually, like the fact that, that he doesn't answer the thing. phone calls in front of me, Denise. We're still having issues with the phone. Like, sometimes I actually just want to smash the phone. Smash whose phone? I just want to smash the phone because you don't come off your phone. It's a problem. Okay, again, a double standard here. When a woman talks about violence, it's 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 permissible, it's okay, it's not that bad. But when a guy talks about being violent towards a woman, that's not okay. This is a huge double standard, really disappointing. She'll likely not get any backlash for this, but if, if Jamal had done it, he would. So, yeah, just pointing that out. It's hot out there for guys. I find it very strange how a woman can message somebody that's in a relationship at 1 a.m. in the morning. The last time I had a male message me quite late, maybe like 11 p.m., Jamel almost turned over the room. So, no, I don't want any female messaging him. No Christina, no Becky messaging him at 1 a.m. in the morning. Well, it seems like the homework worked from that question. How did you get on with what have you done for each other lately? Well, I mean, I haven't been home. So, um, aside from that, like he said, I do run in baths and give him massages and stuff and, you know, help if he needs work done. Yeah. No more? That's, I mean, lately. As in, you know, it doesn't have to be last week. It can be over the last month. I mean, uh... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, Paul? Cool. Sure, so, um, you know, if I could go back to the uh, couples review that we have every 28 days, um, literally I make sure that um, all of her goals and targets, I'm literally, I face them head on. So sometimes if she hasn't followed up on certain phone calls in terms of business that she's trying to chase, I'll be there, you know, babe, have you done this? Okay, can I make this call for you? And um, sometimes when she has shortfalls with some things that she's trying to pursue, um, whether it be business-wise, career-wise, I'm there to kind of say, okay, look, if that lane doesn't work, let me call someone I know or let me try to push things in my way um, in order... Is that a train? I disagree with that a little bit. Sorry? I disagree with that a little bit. Okay. Um, so what do you disagree with? Because I feel like... Not to take it back to the negativity, but I mean, we are here to kind of air our issues, isn't it? I feel as though, with regards to work, um, if I'm doing something, as much as he is supportive, there's a current situation where I feel like you're being very unsupportive and he's kind of being an enemy of progress, if that makes sense. So I'm running a business, for example. Well, I'm actually starting a, a company, a business, isn't it? Um, is this a new business? Yes, it is. And I've got someone doing my website and he's doing a fantastic job. We're halfway through. I've paid him fully, no refunds. Um, and Paul liked it at first. And um, obviously now that he knows the guy, he no longer likes the work and he kind of wants me to stop working with him with no explanation. What is the reason that you're not happy now? You have had a look at the site. This is my field, by the way. Personally, I feel like right now I make the best, right? Um, initially, uh, Trump and I did have a discussion about her business, what she wants to do. This is weird as hell. This is strange to me because we were good before. 
And all of a sudden, now you have an issue with the person I want to work with, the person creating my website, the person that's going to help me put my business out there. Yeah, no, for me, I don't understand. We haven't had a discussion. He really doesn't want to tell me what the problem is. So I'm not going to just stop working with this guy. You have to get over it. You know, I've, I've worked with, you know, a number of different influencers, people that she knows, people that she doesn't know. And we've had successful outcomes, which is why, she, you know, she's spoken to me about her business. Now, the only thing is... At the time when she approached me to deal with it, she wasn't fully prepared. And what, what I mean by that is, you know, if, if you want um, a website done, it's, you can't really just work based off an idea. You need the content, you need the pictures, you need a framework. Which you could have helped me with. No, 100%. But at the same time, that's something that you, you'd have to ask for. So you can't really ask for number five if you if you need number one, two, three, four. If you said, babe, I need, can you help me with the idea? Can you help me with the photos? I've got connections with a lot of people that do all of these things. So I feel like I, I could definitely um, help Choma in this way better than the person that's currently helping her. You're saying that now because you don't want me to work with this person. So I have spoken to Paul about it. I've asked for help many, many times. I don't know if he thought I wasn't serious, but it was only until I went out to find someone myself and found this fantastic guy. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, yes, Paul does websites, but he's never offered once to help me. At the end of the day, Trauma knows what I do. Well, yeah, once she told you, why didn't you just say that you'd arrange it at the start yourself? I mean, I don't know why this is relevant to your bloody relationship. I don't know why we're talking about this stuff. But, you know, they, they seem pretty... Like, business is a huge part of their lives, both their lives. So I guess it's something that they share in common and something that's a familiar ground or for both of them, perhaps the relationships also, based on that shared ambition of success and excess or whatever. But really, I mean, if you're not good in business together, just don't do business together, right? It's, it's no drama. It's possible to be with someone. I mean, it makes it easier when you're with someone who has the same politics, but if they don't, it's fine. In terms of um, my IT business, um, it's well established. Um, I have a good number of very decent, um, high net worth clients, and my work is quite professional. So, for her to kind of go to another person, it kind of doesn't really make sense to me. Like, you have a whole partner in a house that's willing to do the most for you, but you're then going to another person. There's no excuse you can give me. You fucked up. Why don't you just approach her, though? Why does she have to ask? Why don't you... I call it um, loving imposition. Like, if there's something great that you think you know, your opponent could benefit from them, impose it on them in the most loving way because you know it will benefit them. What's the reason that you think that he's not happy with this particular person? I have no idea. I literally have no idea because we both like the work. Well, we liked it at first. Now Paul doesn't like it. He thinks he can do a better job. I'm quite happy we're not working together because I feel like it will cause conflict in our relationship. So I'm good on this side, but he... Yeah, I think that's for the best. They're two very strong personalities. Don't, don't mix business. ...has tantrums almost every day with regards to me working with this guy. Uh, do you have a, a particular issue with the person or is it just what you've just explained? You know, at the end of the day, from a professional standpoint... The work is um, of a decent standard, I'd say. Um, however, the person doing the work isn't actually that professional. To who? I'm working with him. He's very professional. He's never, like, I'm, I'm in a professional relationship with this guy. And my work is fantastic. Okay. So. Okay. She asked me the question, can I? But you don't work with How don't you know him? She asked me the question. Can I answer the question? No, but you're answering the question. Ideally, should be posed at me because well, I know this guy. She asked me the question, so can I answer the question? Okay. Am I right? I did ask Paul what whether he had. Paul a does not know issue. this guy. According to me, I, do you know I him? Don't, I don't, I don't, you know him. How do you know him? I don't, I don't know. You don't worry about that. But but the point the point I'm trying to get to from a professional perspective, okay? Um, you know, look at the end of the day. I feel like this is the whole one up and crusade from Paul. It's like, oh, like, look at me, like, show off. I'm such a great businessman, you know, like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm such a great businessman. Like, you know, you should come to me. You're doing it the wrong way. God, give me a break. It's more like one up and it's just more one up and That's the undertone of this whole conversation. If, if I asked you for advice about makeup, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of take your advice. Okay, but I would always explain why I'm giving you a specific advice. I'll take your advice. No, that is the point. Because, because I'm... Experience and you have, you know, the network expertise. 
So, so in other sense, words, you tell me what to do and I just do it. Well, if I have the experience and the expertise, it kind of makes sense. No, I'm sorry. I, that doesn't run with me. If you want me to do something, then explain it properly. I, I agree. Like, it doesn't matter if someone's of superior experience. If they're of superior experience and they still can't explain themselves, then they don't know what they're doing, really.